That's Joe Long there. Now, there is a bit of a commotion going on over the other side of the hall, which seems to be caused by the arrival of Grandad, Rod and Del Boy from Only Fools and Horses. <laughs> Dale, what? what are we doing here? I told you, this is the hotel that we're going to spend Christmas at. You said it was only five minutes from the sea. Well, it is only five minutes from the sea in Concord. <laughs> Dale, yeah? this is a Southern Railways orphanage. Now, come on, let's have the truth. All right, well, the truth is, um, well, we're a bit light on money of late. Well, to be more precise, we are potless. We are niched coin, we are polo mint. So I thought, <laughs> thought myself, how could we get ourselves a free Christmas dinner, right? So then I read in the Radio Times that Russell Arty was holding his Christmas party down here. Who's Russell Arty? What? No, no, you know him. He's like that, right, Michael Parkinson, right? But he's got O levels. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so I thought this gaff is going to be full of strangers, right? And I mean, it's got to be, you know, got to be technicians, cameramen, all those, you know, show busy types. Mm. Yeah. So what I thought is we'd waltz in, mingle about inconspicuously, have a turkey dinner, a free party at, all for gratis. How bad? Huh? You are yeah. going to mingle inconspicuously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we were up Regent Street to see the lights, all the tourists was taking pictures of you. They thought you were part of the decorations. Mm. <laughs> You're going to get an unfortunate cop round your old in a minute, Granddad, if you carry on. Oi. What? Oi, what if somebody official asks who I am? Well, I don't know. Say that you're a Jimmy Savile love child. <laughs> Where are we going to sleep tonight? Yeah, well, I've been thinking about that one, and, um... <clears throat> see that one over there, look? Oh, dear, the good-looking one with the green, the green hat and the green dress and the glasses. No, she's been looking at you ever since you came in. Oh, stop it, girl. You, no, she has. I told you that you wouldn't regret having your hat dry cleaned. Now, play your cards, right? Go on. Give her one of your David Niven smiles. Go on. No, leave it out, Del. You're making me embarrassed. Oh, uh, Del, where's your suitcase? Uh, yeah, my suitcase. Well, I didn't bring it because, you know, like, well, <clears throat> I'm not stopping. You mean you're going to leave us here? Yeah, yeah well, you see, the, the thing is, you know, Dolores, the croupier from the 111 Club, well, she's, like, you know, invited me around to her place for Christmas, see? <laughs> no, well, well, the thing is, I couldn't leave you alone in the flat, could, could I, with a Yule Tide? No, I'm, look, come on, I'll, I'll come and pick you up Boxing Day. Hey, you like it down here? You really will. The food is par excellence. No, Egon Rone ate here once. And he said he's never tasted food like it. <laughs> he ought to know, shouldn't he, eh? You can all pick them, can't you? Well, what we had up to now, we've got Dolores from the nightclub, yeah? yeah. We've got Pachula from the Pizza Palace. Yeah. And, uh, oh, Ruby from the Wet Fish Shop. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to pull them down, Rodney. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's a film on over Christmas. Reminds me very much of your love life, Dale. What's that? It's a Warren Beatty movie, is it? No, it's 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yeah, that Dolores ain't got a flat. She lives with her mum and dad. Oh, no, no, that's right, yeah, no. I get confused, cos I, oh! I thought this... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh, I get it now. Oh. I get it. He's trying to get a shot of her so he, sh he can have her around to our flat for Christmas. What do you mean, have her around to our flat? And you don't be so rude about my girlfriends, will you? Well, I'm not having it. We're spending Christmas at home, and that's about the end of it. Yeah, right. I want to go home, Del. No arguments, right? All right, all right. Honestly, you two, you really hurt me, you do sometimes. For all the sacrifices I made for you, bring you down here for a nice little day out, and you throw it all back in my face. All right, come on, get your suitcases, we'll go home. Stone oh, yeah. you. No one moaning all the ruddy oh, time. Ladies and gentlemen, the governor. thank David Jess, Nicholas Lindhurst, and Leonard Pierce. Thank you. What? Right, don't like you don't like me? No. What's wrong with me? Well, you're not as good as Michael Parkinson, is <laughs> He's better looking, though, isn't he? He's all right. He's because he's got a bit of shrapnel, you see. You don't understand. In his leg? Yeah, no. It's, oh, it's is it going to be Christmas as usual, then, at home? Because we haven't resolved anything, have we, tonight? No. No, well, I expect we'll go home and, uh, you know, we'll, something will fall off the back of a lorry somewhere, yeah, Russell, yeah. usually Why does. don't you take them out, take them to some music? There's a nice messiah on at the Royal Albert Hall. Why don't you go there? No, no, we usually pop down an egg's head. Yeah. 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 From a shire. 
Don't know, is he on this weekend? Don't yeah. like wine bars. He came years ago, didn't he? <laughs> Don't like wine bars. No, what are you coming again? What are you going to give each other for Christmas? What are you giving them for <laughs> Christmas? Nothing. Why? Can't afford it. All right, then let's ask you what are you going to give these two? I'd give him a thick round, a clip round the ear. Oh, I was going to thick ear, but I couldn't say <laughs> it. Yeah. No, I'll give him a thick ear and. Uh, I might give Rodney a new diver's watch, deep sea divers, he likes yeah. him. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. What, the, with the, with the little yeah. hand on it? Tells, tells you how deep you are. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's real good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? What are you going to give to. Keep it in me, isn't it? <laughs> go on, give it to Nutty. Go no, on, Rodney. Right. Hey, well, yeah. so what, what are you, you going to give them? Oh, I don't know what getting him is. Probably a bit of jewelry or something. A bit, well, now listen, or don't a bird. you think he's gone overboard a bit with the jewelry? Don't you think he's gone. Overboard a bit with the jewels. Shouldn't do that. <laughs> His nerves go. Shouldn't. No, it's all the genuine stuff. That is, that is nine carat. A lot of that. Is it? Russell. Does it not? Where you down? Well, it is a little bit in the bath. That's why you usually take a shower. Did you? Front of the you don't have to be manacled while it's standing up, do you? No, no, I got, I got out of that years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you'd be... <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for joining us. And whatever, wherever you spend Christmas, have a happy time. And you take care of yourself, because he hasn't been well, has he? Yeah. And he doesn't get out much. No, he does good boy. Ladies and gentlemen, say thank you to these three boys. <laughs>